the phosphorus problem. It's as normal as normal can be. Eating. What exactly is eating good for? Of course, you need energy to walk, run, work and to be a couch potato. But eating is especially important to supply the building blocks in your body. One of those building blocks is phosphorus. Your DNA and bones consist of phosphorus and every day you need to replenish it. That's why you eat. And you're not alone, because 7 billion other people do the same. And in 2050, that will even be 9 billion people. Let's check out a cheese sandwich. You eat it for energy in building blocks, such as phosphorus. But where does that come from? A sandwich is made of wheat, which grows on the land. Cheese is made from milk. Milk comes from a cow, who can produce milk by eating grass. And grass also grows on the land. Wheat and grass grow naturally, thanks to the sunlight and water. But also because of nutrients such as phosphorus which plants need as much as you do. Plants get their phosphorus from the soil. But how does it get there in the first place? One way is to cover the soil with manure or poo. But currently it's mainly done by sprinkling fertilizer on the land. Phosphorus in fertilizer comes from the mines in the Western Sahara in China. But soon those mines will be empty or China will close its borders, and without phosphorus we cannot make food. So, let's follow the phosphorus. It travels from the mines, into the fertilizer, onto the soil, into the wheat and grass. From the grass, through the cow, into the cheese, and from the wheat into your sandwich, on your plate and into your mouth. You use the new phosphorus to replace the old. Part of it leaves your body at the other end, which means you flush phosphorus down the drain. Sewage systems take it to the treatment plant, which means that the sludge that remains after treatment is full of valuable nutrients. We burn this sewage sludge and use it in concrete and asphalt, which means we can no longer use it on our land. It's a waste to lose this phosphorus, so why don't we recycle it? It costs money to extract the valuable substances from the sludge and right now fertilizer is so cheap that recycling can't compete. Also, countries like the Netherlands still have enough phosphorus, so there's no direct incentive to recycle. A real pity, because phosphorus is already in short supply in other parts of the world. Phosphorus is an element you cannot create. Once lost, it is lost forever. And when the mines are empty, we can no longer produce enough food, because we need phosphorus for that. So, we need to stop losing phosphorus and bring it back into the food chain, so that we can still eat when there are 9 billion of us.